Behind me is a $300 million private custom plane. Oh, oh, There's literally only two of these in the world, and we spent a million dollars just to fly on this. We also spent $50,000 on the best first class ticket. Oh, oh my god. god. $150,000 on a private jet. Look at this! Wow. This is so nice! And so much more, starting with a $1 plane ticket and working our way up. So we're outside the worst reviewed airport, and we're about to fly on our cheapest and worst reviewed airline here. Now the reason why the tickets only cost a dollar, it's because it's a bare fare standby ticket where you're only paying for the seat, which is at the very back of the plane. Any additional things like water, backpacks, carry-on, and agent assistance cost a lot extra. That's right. Because there was no agent assistance when we got inside, no one could help us print out our tickets after the kiosk broke down. Can we front get our tickets printed out here? We're not allowed to print out anything. They are fire everyone up. They didn't let us print out. Everyone up. And to make things worse, when it came time to board a new flight, they made us pay $99 for a small carry-on. $99 for a bag? Yes, $99. Which we had to pay for again. I'm so sick of this <laughs> So for $1, we had seats in the very back with no windows. Oh, I can't see out the window. Who done these seats? <laughs> they were only a dollar. On top of the no windows, there was also leftover trash on our seats. And to make things worse, the air conditioning didn't work, the seats were made out of plywood, and had no leg room. Look at our knees. These aren't regulation oh. seats. Oh, and did I mention that our seats didn't recline either? What a god. You wanna recline? Mother It doesn't recline. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the worst was yet to come. Once we took off, we had the bumpiest and scariest flight you could think of. Turns out, you get what you pay for. You fly with spirit, you're gonna meet the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a $1 flight. And for our next flight, we have a $5,000 business class seat and a $100 economy seat. And we all randomly pick from a briefcase to determine which seat we have. Oh my yes! God. I bet you wish you got that extra room. <laughs> so this is the list of all the airplane tickets that we'll be flying on. And you're going to want to keep watching because it only gets crazier and crazier. So because Kat and Sean had business class tickets, they got a check in their bags for free, could skip the long lines, and had access to a private waiting lounge. Meanwhile, we were stuck waiting in our line for hours and had to run everywhere to make sure we didn't miss our flight. <laughs> We were actually supposed to have eight people on this flight, but a lot of our friends dropped out after that one dollar flight. <laughs> oh my gosh! We were the first ones in. Yeah. The craziest part is we pay for your tickets and we're the ones waiting in line. So. I made a joke that it was Jake Paul and it's actually Jake Paul. <laughs> for five thousand dollars, they had seats that fully turned into beds, a TV screen twice the size of ours, and expensive amenities. Coconut oil. I'm about to use it for my hand. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Like thirty minutes after them. Sorry. Oh Get back there. Two flights in a row, no windows. <laughs> and even though Kat and Sean had some of the best seats money could buy, we still wanted to make the most out of our experience. I'm gonna show you guys a travel life hack on how to mount your phone to your seat. You take your barf bag and you put it inside your phone case, then you put your phone back in the phone case, and finally, you hang the barf bag inside your tray. Wow, look at that. You can go into bed mode, relaxation mode, there's even a seat warmer and a massage chair. <laughs> and Jake Paul is sitting next to me. How do you think? Alan and Alex are doing. So we brought these cup noodles on the plane. And if you ask a flight attendant for some hot water, you can actually eat ramen on your flight. Funny thing is, this is the best meal I've had on the plane. While we were eating noodles, Kat and Sean were eating their five course meal. I bet Alex wishes he was here right now eating all this food. And after Kat and Sean finished their dessert and went to sleep in their bed, our sleep was constantly getting interrupted by a crying baby. Turns out, two uncomfortable flights back to back doesn't settle well with your body. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a f***er. I knew it. All right, so honest thoughts on the last flight. Horrible. That's the second flight in a row I didn't have a window. Well, our flight was amazing. First time flying business. Well, you think your business class seats are nice? Wait till we see the first class seats that me and Alan are about to go on. Now, we're about to board our first class flight. And we're gonna show you guys why this ticket costs $50,000. So you actually have to walk up the stairs to reach your seats and take a look how nice the suites are. Oh my God. Wow. That was our first time being upstairs on an airplane. And now that we're inside our suites, it's time to give you guys a little tour. So we have two private suites that combine into a double suite. And inside this double suite, we have a queen bed that we'll be sleeping on later. We also have two sofas that can fully recline and rotate into this touchscreen TV. On top of the two touchscreen TVs, we have an extra TV mounted on the wall, our own iPad, mirrors, and a work desk. Hey look, we finally have a window. And if you walk a few feet down the hall, we have the bathroom. And if you guys remember on our previous flight, the space was very limited and you had to share it with hundreds of people. Well on this flight, we have 
our very own private bathroom. And as you can see, it's very spacious and clean. On the other side is a shower that we're gonna use at the end of this flight. So the two things people want most on a flight is space and privacy. And in this double suite, you get a lot of both. On a regular economy seat, you only get 18 inches of leg room. But just on this recliner, I have 38 inches and our entire double suite is a spacious 7 by 13 feet. There's so much room. I could literally work out That's all I can do. Hey, wait, I wasn't recording. Alan, you're fine. Stop. Yeah, I know you're joking Now this is why our plane ticket costs so much. We literally have a queen-size bed Now just imagine what the $150,000 and the $1 million plane tickets are gonna look like a few hours into our sleep, we heard some clapping, so we thought the plane already landed. I think there's a little too much privacy on this plane. So we're only gonna show you guys one out of the three meals that they serve, and right now, we're both gonna try this $300 caviar for the first time. How do you, how do you eat it? Try it, put it in your mouth. I'm scared. It tastes a lot like boba, except like, Fishy, very fishy. Yeah, I'm not trying that. And it has a terrible aftertaste. Now on to the main dish. I got egg fried rice with shrimp. Mmm, so good. So we're about to land very soon now, and we're finally gonna show you guys the shower. The funny thing is, I can push this every minute so they don't think I'm wasting water. Hey, that was my first time showering and that was quite the experience. All right, so honest thoughts on that flight, was it worth it? Well, for the price of a small house in Texas, you could have a small house in the sky for a few hours. Now, before we show you guys what the $1 million plane ticket looks like, we're gonna show you guys a $150,000 private jet experience. For $150,000, we had a luxury private jet that was very spacious and could comfortably fit 20 passengers. Look at this! This is so nice! <laughs> wow! You can actually look really sweet right here. Yeah. We're gonna get kicked off the plane. And included in this six hour flight, they had unlimited food prepared for us. You know what? Let me get the ass menu. <laughs> this is not the real meal. I went for that. <laughs> So what do you guys think? This is the nicest jet I've ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> and now, we're finally arriving at the extremely private airport for the $1 million plane ticket. Apparently, only top celebrities are allowed here. Are you guys ready to check out the plane? Hey! Yeah! Let's do it! Open your eyes in three, two, one. So behind this curtain is why this plane ticket costs a million dollars. And before we show you guys what's behind this door, we literally have no sponsor for this video. So all the money we spent came from our own bank account. So you guys and our friends could experience all of this. So please subscribe. We're literally broke. That would really help. Please. Alright, you guys ready? Yes! Alright! So before I show you guys the rest of the plane, we're actually going to take off our shoes because this carpet alone costs $3.5 million. So right down here, we have a 100 feet walkway. Behind these doors are three private lounges. Oh. And inside each oh. lounge is a bedroom and a shower. The this bedroom lounge. is the oh. master bedroom. Oh my gosh. Can I get off? Here. This is literally a seven-star hotel. This is so <laughs> nice. And this is just one out of the six bathrooms on this plane. Freaking toilet! Oh. That's just oh. my toilet. That's the toilet. Yeah. That's the toilet. Oh. <laughs> We have some activities planned where later on we're gonna have to take a shower if you guys know what I mean. Maybe just Sean in the pilot. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the next private lounge. A movie theater! Literally your own private no. movie theater, yes. Oh my god. Wow. Ah, no, no. Wow. This is so nice. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Stop. This is so nice. <laughs> Sean's acting like he doesn't love that. This is the guest room, but all of these couches right here can be turned into double beds. Yeah. Sleep like 16 people just in here. No way. Yeah, check it out. Is it no way. Sean, yeah, come here. Sean, Sean. Yeah. 
that be like? And I almost forgot to mention, we actually have a subscriber on board that we brought along with us. Oh, <laughs> so nice! <laughs> All right, let's go check out the rest of the plane. Oh my god. So in here is the main lounge. Oh my Look at this TV. God. I'm staying here. So this is actually the world's flattest TV screen. Damn, that TV's bigger than me! <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, whoa, that's strike one. Three strikes are off the plane. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! So now we're gonna check out the last room, the conference room. Woo! Oh, damn. Dude, this is like a spaceship. <laughs> this plane is literally so big, we could play hide and seek. The last one of you guys found gets the master bedroom. I'll give you guys 10 seconds, go and hide. Oh, 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, ready or not, here I come. Look at here. If I were to hide, I would hide in the master bedroom. Does anyone else need to take a shit when they get excited? Hey, this would be a good spot. Whoever's it? Sean? Oh my gosh, pillows! Yes, it's cracked open. No! <laughs> First one found. All right, we gotta find three more. Oh my god, wait, there's a bridge! Why didn't I know about this? Wonder what that pink little <laughs> thing is. Huh? What is that? I only had 10 seconds to hide. Wait, is someone, hear that? Is someone in there? Is someone in there? Or where's that noise coming from? No? <laughs> I hear something in there. <laughs> what the hell, Tanner? We found you! What do you mean? I was not hiding, I was taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you guys hear that? Sean? Bro. Oh, oh my god! Sean! Sean! What are you doing? I don't even want to be here! <laughs> it's not allowed, it's, it's the cockpit. <laughs> Sean! <laughs> yeah! No. You guys see how blue the water is? Oh it's my literally God. light blue water. Wow. I've Look. never seen water this blue before. Look at it. Oh, I've been waiting to take a shower. I've been dripping diarrhea. <laughs> There oh, you hello. are. The shower is oh. all ready for you. Oh, awesome. And uh, hey, I have a pretty good airplane joke. You want to hear it? Sure. <laughs> Why did the airplane get sent to his room? Why? Because he had bad altitude. <laughs> That was really bad. I guess you can say that joke didn't land. <laughs> Jeez, these are getting worse. <laughs> hey, don't use all the water. Ooh, I'm ready for my shower. Sean, you don't have to film. Dude, get out. Dude, get out. Sean. I'm not leaving. Yeah. Get out of here. I'm gay though. Oh yeah. Dude, go be with Tanner or something. Before we see what kind of food comes with a $1 million plane ticket, we all wanted to relax and see how comfortable the beds were. All right, so I think I'm gonna take a little power nap. I'm still kind of jet lag. Or should I say private jet lag? <laughs> So we're about to eat our five-star meal in our flying five-star hotel. And let me show you guys what kind of food you get for a $1 million plane ticket. So right here we have 24 karat golden steak. That's not the only golden meal that we have. We also have golden flake brownies as well. Ooh, yeah. I'll see you next to the subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I'm starting to see why this plane ticket costs a million dollars. The gold actually adds to the taste. I know everyone else says it doesn't add to the taste, but the gold does add to the taste. So to recap, we flew on a $1 plane ticket, a business class light flat seat, a first class double suite bed, a private jet, and finally this. Which one was your favorite? That's not even a question. This one for sure. Oh yeah. This one because it comes with a subscribe. <laughs> Well, my favorite outside of the cost was definitely this one. <laughs> my favorite flight was probably the one dollar plane ticket because of our dad's reaction. <laughs> what? I thought it'd be this one because of all the food. Excuse me, ma'am. One more fat joke. We're gonna have to make an emergency landing and escort you off the plane. <laughs> wow. Click here to watch me lose weight so Cat stops calling me fat.